here's an interesting little singing bowl, which is, you know, definitely in a kind of class by itself. Uh, you don't see a lot of this style, uh, but they do share some characteristics, which is very heavy for their size. Like this is 680 grams, that's uh, 24 ounces. And it's only five and three eighths inches across, three and three quarters deep. And then has this foot on it. It, it has been a bowl and then they've added this, this foot or collar very intentionally. You can see how uh, the roundness of the bowl keeps on going down there. Very thick walls, remarkably thick really. And you can see it's been quite distinctly machined. Can you see those circular groove lines in there? I think it was hand hammered because the shape is, is not perfect, which it would be if it were machined. You can see across the top that line's not perfect. And then along the bottom stand there, you can see kind of harsh grinding. It's not showing up very well in the, in the mic. I mean in the video, but... Uh, extraordinary volume for a, a small bowl. And uh, very easy to get that note super reproducible every time it comes. And the nice thing about the handle is that you can, you know, have a bass with it. Let's see what it sounds like with the gong striker. The guitar tuner is saying G there. So, uh, some surprising amount of work has gone into this bowl. See the extra lines around the rim even. Very nice and consistent. I don't know why, why they go through so much work. A different alloy than most bowls, that, that shininess is not just newness. We can't really tell the age because of the extra polishing it's been given. But uh, that color indicates a harder alloy and that harder alloy, especially combined with such a thick wall, gives that high note. Let's see what it sounds like with the wood. I'm expecting this super high note, that one. And you can hear the lower note in there. But this is the note we want. One. So, interesting little bowl. 680.